not know him, but if you live in Portland, you've probably seen his work. A Maine artist is now in the international spotlight and coming soon to a theater near you. But it's what he does for those in the recovery community that is really making a difference in the lives of others. It's hard to miss on the streets of Portland, so maybe you've seen this art gallery on wheels. Well, guess what? There's more. Well, this room is basically uh, sort of like a gallery and a workroom. It's also the place Zoo Kane calls home. An abstract artist whose life is as colorful as his work, Zoo's journey has had its challenges. I think I was born in, uh, with the uh, addiction genes. And so I started using narcotics like at eight years old, cigarettes to start with bopped right into booze around 12. Um, really, it had me for a good 20, a bad 26 years, and then I went over to sobriety. But not before some pretty dark times. I was watching a video of the drunkest guy on the planet, and he was trying to buy a 12-pack, and he was all over this convenience store, banging into things, falling down, and that was me. But out of that darkness came the strength to get sober and stay that way. That's the hardest one. And ever since, Zoo has spent just about every waking moment helping others do the same. Along with adults, he counsels teens at Long Creek, urging them to think long and hard about the path ahead. There's a lot of bunks waiting for uh, active addicts. And, of course, there's a lot of morgue action. And when he's not offering support, he is cheering up the world with his vibrant art. The meaning behind it is celebration of life. It, that's all it is, it's celebratory. Zoo is now the subject of a documentary by Maine filmmaker Reggie Groff. Peace, Love and Zoo has already won an international film festival in Germany. I think this, this film is really about the power of helping other people and, and expressing yourself in any way you can. He lives a life that's so colorful in so many ways and he's so exuberant with everything he does. This is no uh, halfway. Everything's full. Zoo says he's not sure about all the attention, but he's grateful he found his passion and his mission to help others. So I'm just good at giving up bad habits and acquiring good ones. Zoo Kane, making a difference through his art and his heart. A lot happened during the four-year filming of the documentary, including a cancer diagnosis for Zoo. He's on the men now, and as he says, embracing life, the good and the bad. The documentary premieres in Maine, John, this Thursday night at the Nickelodeon in Portland. The first show mm. at 7.30 is almost sold out, but there's another one at 9.30. Good thing. Seems like a must-see, Kim. And, and just being in his studio is a visual feast. It's yes. so Very beautiful. Very colorful, that's colorful. for sure. Yeah, and it's also going to be featured at the Emerge Film Festival next month. We'll keep an eye out for that one. And